So this is tasting update number six. Uh, this is our first full day of tasting in Burgundy, and uh, we've just gotten back to our apartment in Bone. We had a wonderful morning down in the Beaujolais, followed by a sentimental journey past Cluny and our old stomping grounds from 15 years ago, and uh, finished up in the Cote Chalonnaise. The drive down to Beaujolais takes about an hour from Bone, and uh, we got a little bit lost in one of the small towns, but found our way to a new producer in Juliana, a uh, really fantastic new producer. We kind of didn't know what to expect. He's a very small scale producer with not a lot of press, but uh, his wines were really fantastic. Pure, gamay, delicious, crisp, and will certainly be an addition to our lineup. Um, we then went across town to another producer. We, with such success in the morning, we were skeptical that we'd have two for two in one day, but his wines were just as good. Uh, a little bit different style, uses a little bit more uh, oak to micro-oxygenate the wines, but these were fantastic, dense gamays. Some as good as uh, some of the wines from further up north in the more famous parts of Burgundy. Uh, after lunch, we drove further uh, to the north to the Macone, uh, where we met with our producer here who makes pure, delicious white wines with uh, very little oak, and we'll be adding a new one from him, which is very exciting. Our final tasting of the day was with uh, Gautier de Vigne in Givry in the Cote Chalonnaise. We've worked with him for a few years now, but his wines seem to get better every year. We did some barrel tasting of the reds and some bottle tasting of the 13 and 14s. And finally, we finished the day with a drive back up north through the Cote d'Or to Bone, and that's where we are now. So, we're very excited about the two new producers we found today in the Beaujolais, and we're looking forward to another nice meal here in the city of Bone. And uh, tomorrow we're headed to Burgundy's very northern end, uh, Chablis. We'll be tasting with our two producers in the morning and then heading back to the Cote d'Or. So that's it for tasting update number six, and uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow.